Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. I prepared 10 nursing exam questions for you to gauge your knowledge and to have additional information before your exam. You have 30 seconds in each question, then the correct answers and rationale will be given after the 10 questions. So get a pen and paper and let's start. Question number one.
Time's up. Don't forget to share this channel with your friends so we can help more aspiring nurses. You can also click the subscribe button below to keep you updated on our latest videos. Let's now proceed to the answers and rationale. Question number one. A nasogastric tube connected to low suction is being used by a nurse to administer care to patient Z. While monitoring, his nurse knows that patient Z is at risk for which acid-base disorder. The correct answer is D. Metabolic alkalosis. It is defined as a deficit or loss of hydrogen ions or acids or an excess of base that results from the accumulation of base or from a loss of acid without a comparable loss of base in the body fluids. Loss of gastric fluid via nasogastric suction or vomiting causes metabolic alkalosis as a result of the loss of hydrochloric acid. This also happens when there is hypovolemia, gastric fluid loss, an excessive intake of bicarbonate, a large amount of full blood transfusions, or hyperaldosteronism. Question number 2. Nurse L is caring for a patient with an ileostomy. She understands that the patient is susceptible to developing which acid-based disorder? The correct answer is C. Metabolic acidosis. It is the total concentration of buffer base that is lower than normal, with a relative increase in the hydrogen ion concentration. This results from loss of buffer bases or retention of too many acids without sufficient bases and occurs in conditions such as renal failure, diabetic ketoacidosis, from the production of lactic acid, from the ingestion of toxins such as acetyl salicylic acid or aspirin, malnutrition, severe diarrhea, and patients with an ileostomy. Question number three. What type of acid-base imbalance does the nurse anticipate to the patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease will most likely experience? The correct answer is A. Respiratory acidosis. It is most often caused by hypoventilation in a patient with COPD. Other acid-base disturbances can occur in a client with COPD during exacerbation of the disease, but the most likely imbalance is respiratory acidosis. To know more about acid-base imbalance interpretation, check by simple explanation in this video. Let's continue. Question number 4. Nurse Gami is assigned to a patient with a history of cardiac disease and is about to administer a morning dose of furosemide. Which of the following level of serum potassium should be reported before administering the medication? The correct answer is B. 3.2 max per liter. The normal serum potassium level in the adult is 3.5 to 5.1 max per liter. Letter B is the only value that falls below the therapeutic range. Administering furosemide to a patient with a low potassium level and a history of cardiac problems could precipitate ventricular dysrhythmias. Question number 5. Patient Daku received her lab result and noted that the glycosylated hemoglobin A1C level is 9%. Based on this result, Nurse Long plans to teach her about the need to. In the test result for glycosylated hemoglobin A1C, 7% or less indicates good control, 7-8% to indicates fair control, and 8% or higher indicates poor control. This test measures the amount of glucose that has become permanently bound to the RBC from circulating glucose. Elevations in the blood glucose level will cause elevations in the amount of glycosylation. Elevations indicate the continued need for teaching related to the prevention of hyperglycemic episodes. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Prevent and recognize hyperglycemia. Question number 6. A client with iron deficiency anemia is being taught by the nurse which foods to include in her diet. A nurse knows that the client is aware of her dietary restrictions if she chooses which options from the menu. The correct answer is C. Dark green leafy vegetables are a good source of iron and oranges are a good source of vitamin C, which enhances iron absorption. Question number 7. 
Patient A, who has parenteral nutrition in Vusing, has disconnected the tubing from the central line catheter. Nurse Son assesses him and suspects an air embolism. After the assessment, he immediately positions the patient on. Air embolism occurs when air enters the catheter system, such as when the system is opened for intravenous tubing changes or when the IV tubing disconnects. Air embolism is a critical situation. If it is suspected, the client should be placed in a left side lying position and the head should be lower than the feet. This position is used to minimize the effect of the air traveling as a bolus to the lungs by trapping it in the right side of the heart. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Question number 8. A unit of PAC RBC has just been given to the nurse by the blood bank for transfusion to a designated patient. The nurse is cautious to choose the type of tubing that is designed for blood products because she is aware that it is made with. The correct answer is A. The tubing used for blood administration has an inline filter. The filter helps ensure that any large particles are filtered and are not infused into the patient. An air vent is unnecessary because the blood bug is not made of glass. Option C is incorrect because the blood does not need to be protected from light. Then the tubing should be macro drip to allow blood to flow freely through the drip chamber. Question number 9. The doctor's order in the chart is levothyroxine, 150 microgram per RM daily. The label on the medication is Centroid 0.1 mg per tablet. How many tablets should the nurse give to the patient? First, convert 150 microgram to milligram by dividing it by 1000, which will be equal to 0.15 mg. Then proceed to the formula, which is the doctor's order, divided by the stack dose, multiplied by the number of the tablet, which will be equal to 1.5 tablets. Therefore, the correct answer is C. To know more examples about IV drug computations and flow rates, check my simple explanation in this video. The link will also be available in the description below. Question number 10. Mr. Dre is being prepared for a thoracentesis. Nurse Linku assists him with which position for the procedure. To facilitate the removal of fluid from the chest, the client is positioned sitting at the edge of the bed, leaning over the bedside table with the feet supported on a stool, or lying in bed on the unaffected side with the head of the bed elevated 30 to 45 degrees. The prone and seams positions are inappropriate positions for this procedure. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.